beautiful people. Today I have an unboxing video for some amazing fountain pen ink. Want to see it? Stick around. These are my first fountain pen inks that are not in cartridges, so I am so excited to open up this box. First thing we have here is a Ferris Wheel Press ink swatch booklet, and in true form, of course, it has to be gold foil, name embossed on every page, and that iconic bottle shape. Because it just wouldn't be Ferris Wheel Press without their perfect, gorgeous, luxurious branding. And now let's move this paper. <sighs> Gosh, check out these packaging. Look at all the beautiful colors and shapes and sizes. <sighs> okay, let's dive into some of these. And we have these uh, tiny little bottles here, which we're gonna dive into. This is called a charger, and uh, we'll show you why in a minute. I'm so excited. These are for the five milliliter sample bottles. It's got a magnetic closure, and inside you've got these little sample bottles that look like batteries. They even put the detail, look at this, the plus and minus sign on the side of the bottle. That is some clever, clever packaging in my opinion. These are so cute. They're so small. So these are so you can get a sample of a color before you buy a big bottle. Um, they have a few different charger sets that you can get. And this one is the Spring Rubinia set. Then moving up to the next size, this is Tears of Sapphire. Look at this sheen on the bottle. It is so beautiful and eat on the side of the box. It tells you the base color, the sheen color or the shimmer color just lists all the properties that are in this ink. And then we pop open the top and you see that gorgeous brass bolt of the lid. <sighs> ah, and then the beautiful orb of these bottles. They are delicious little potion bottles and I love it. I have been eyeballing these inks for years. I started using a really inexpensive fountain pen that I got off Amazon two years ago, just using the brand cartridges for it. But I have been eyeballing these bottles for ages and finally bit the bullet and got it. This is Cloak and Forest. It is a green base with a red sheen and a silver shimmer. Look at the packaging. Oh, and each one of their inks has a story to it. And again, that beautiful brass bolt on the top. Oh, and it, these are the 20 milliliter bottles. So you saw the five millimeters. This is a 20 millimeter bottle. They're very cute, very tiny, very, very beautiful bottles. And look at that band around the middle with all that sort of stars and magic. So, so pretty. And a lot of these inks look really dark in the bottle regardless of the color and so it can be hard to tell which one is which and they do have color-coded labels on the bottom of all of their bottles or the back of their bottles. Next up we have the Velvet Ballet. This is a red ink with a green sheen and a, it's a gold shimmer. And here's where you see beautiful branding on the front. We've got our label on the back. And look at all that rose shimmer at the bottom. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to ink these up. Next up, we have the Fluttering Heart. Do you see how absolutely stunning their packaging is? 
Look at the details on this box. That that silver foil, the sort of lace filigree, these beautiful butterflies. Man, every single one of their boxes is just a work of art. This is sort of a rose colored ink with a gold shimmer and it has some shading properties as well. I love the front. It looks like almost like a clock on the front. Very, very pretty. You've got that gold shimmer in the bottle and again, the label on the back. Oh, look at all that shimmer when you shake it up. You just see it swirling around in there. <gasps> look at this, it's like champagne. This is so, so beautiful, guys. Next up, we have Magical Metropolis. This is a purple ink. I think it's just a purple. I don't think it has any other properties of like, it has some shading properties, but it's not a shimmer or a, or a glitter ink. And then we have Bathurst Blue Denim. This one is a shimmer ink. It's a blue ink with a silver shimmer. And there we have again that beautiful branding on the front and gorgeous label on the bottom and look at all of that shimmer in there. And the last one we have is Grape Ice Pop. But this is one of their original colors. It comes in this cylinder box because it's a much bigger bottle. <gasps> Look at this beautiful velvet bag, guys. And their brand across that. And now this is this is a big boy. This is a big bottle of ink. This is their 80 milliliter bottle of ink. So you've got the five milliliter, the 20, the 35, and then the 80. This one is a much bigger bottle. Well, these are beautiful and I could look at the packaging all day long, but for right now, we're going to crack these puppies open and sample them. I'm going to take this bolt off so that I don't have to worry about messing up all of the pages if I have a spill. Um, so we're going to start with the last one, which was that grape ice pop. This is a really beautiful color. Look at this, it's sort of a warm purple color. Really, really pretty. Oh, look how nicely that goes on. Got some nice deep colors. It's also got some lighter colors. It's really, really lovely. And next we've got the Magical Metropolis. I think I said that wrong earlier, but that's that's it is. That's where it is. I'm trying to get in the habit of shaking the inks because most of these are have some pretty heavy shimmer to it. Oh, that's a really deep color. Ooh, look at that purple. Oh, it goes it gets really dark if you go over it. It writes really smooth. I'm really like the way this ink feels. Really, really nice. I'm looking forward to seeing how that looks when it's dry. Then we have Bathurst Blue Denim. We're gonna shake up all that shimmer. Ooh, this is a really nice light one. Let's do another little coat here. Oh, that should have some really nice shimmer, but look at the shading on this. It's where you have like an ink has like two tones to it or like darkens or lights depending on how much ink gets on the page. 
and that's beautiful like it's got a really nice light color here but where the ink pools it's like really rich and dark I like that beautiful all of this ink makes me so happy oh my goodness they're just so pretty they're so colorful all right and now we're looking at cloak and forest oh that's a really nice green it's got a nice light color oh and it darkens up really nice too um, I want to get a nice dark coat on this because some of the sheen properties it's supposed to sh have like a red sheen to it Ooh, that's so nice all right now we're doing the red velvet ballet this is a really nice rum color like a more of a burgundy this is a really beautiful it's got oh already it's got that shimmer look at that it's like stardust on this it's so pretty Next we up, we have the Fluttering Heart. Oh, my fingers. <laughs> Look at my fingers. They're getting so dirty. I touched the back of the Q-tip. I was trying to reuse the Q-tip, but it was not dry <laughs> from the last one. Well, this is really pale. This is really pretty, nice and soft. Even where it's darker, it's still... A okay, it writes a lot darker than it looks. That's really pretty. This is lovely. Beautiful for a nice soft accent. Oh, look how it's drying. Ooh. All right, next up we have Tears of Sapphire. I love this packaging. It's so beautiful. And the bottle, I mean, oh, their branding is so on point. This is a really deep, lovely blue. Man, the shading on this is really lovely. Like where it's lighter, it's beautiful. And those dark pooled areas, you can already see the glitter. Oh my goodness, look at this. You can see the glitter where I dabbed the Q-tip. You can see these little dots of silver. Exciting. Okay, now let's look at our dry samples. So here is the Fluttering Heart. It dried so beautifully. There's that pale pink, but then it's sort of this really lovely rose color. Can you see that shimmer there where in the in the darker pooled areas? In the light, it's got a nice little, I mean, it's gold, but you can really see that shine. Velvet Ballet, oh, now that you can really see the shimmer on. Look at it when the light hits. That's so beautiful. The Grape Ice Pop is just a really nice purple. Now, I don't think that the Magic Magical Metropolis or... I didn't think it had any shimmer or sheen properties to it, but that one corner there looks like it's got some different color in the light. Ooh, and the Bathurst Blue. Oh, this one's lovely. I think this one's my favorite the tears of sapphire there's just so much going on with this ink it's the base color is stunning and then it's got this like rose this rose sheen to it and then it's got that beautiful silver shimmer it's beautiful the cloak and forest is also really nice it's got this nice hunter green and then like a red sheen to it with that lovely lovely glitter sparkle to it that is beautiful So those are my inks from Ferris Wheel Press. I put the pages back into the swatch book and put that bolt back on. And now I can flip through whenever I'm looking at inks and I'm sort of wanting to see what I'm wanting to ink up my pens with. This um, other book underneath it uh, is something that's gonna be coming up in a couple of weeks. I'll be doing the review or the unboxing of, um, but that's gonna be my ink journal. And uh, you'll have to wait for that video to see what it's gonna be. But here is my first ink 
purchases and this is my entire ink collection at this point it's all ferris wheel press I'm super excited to start working with it and playing with it and uh you'll see it in a lot of my journaling and planning and spread videos coming up and i hope you're excited there will definitely be some fountain pen content coming up on this channel it is a new aspect of the stationary hobby that i am so hooked on right now so stay tuned for that if you're interested in fountain pen content if you are a stationary lover of any kind this is definitely the place for you because i am just loving all of the stationary rabbit holes that i am diving into so thank you guys so much for sticking with me while i sampled all of these inks if you enjoyed this content please be sure to hit that like button drop down in the comments let me know which one was your favorite ink take care and see you next time bye guys <laughs>